For anybody who's looking to start their own car cleaning business on a tight budget, they might be asking themselves if they really need to go for a car dryer because the biggest question mark over them is the price. However, in this video today, I think I may have come up with a genius solution where I think you could probably save yourself over 100 pounds off a car dryer. Stick around. So why do people even go for car dryers in the first place? Well, mainly they like to be very thorough and there's nothing wrong with that. However, if you go for a car dryer and you start using it on basic cleans, you're soon gonna fall into a deadly trap, which I'll now take you through right now. Now, I just wanna put you in my mindset. So let's roll back two years. I bought myself a car dryer. It cost me about 160 quid. And then I realized that I could use it for pretty much everything. And yes, they are pretty good. However, I realized that it was slowing me down because I was doing my maintenance cleans. I was sort of using it on everything thinking, oh great, the car's gonna look so much better. Yes, that is very true. The car will look better, but you are gonna be spending so much more time doing it. You're in fact gonna be losing money and you will be worse off. And then you will soon lose the love for this business. So it's really important that you make sure that you know when to stop. So my expensive car dryer didn't last me too long, so I ended up chucking it in the bin and it made me realise soon after how much time I was wasting because I was getting back on my maintenance cleans and I was just powering through cars. And I had this mindset where I said, right, I'm just gonna ignore some of the odd drips. Now I know that might sound unprofessional, but you can't sort every single drip out. You can clean that car, you can park it up, and then five minutes later, you're gonna get little spots come out where the mirrors are. It happens, even if you did use a car dryer, you still get in this horrible mode where you're like, oh, I gotta go and wipe it, I gotta go and wipe it. And before you know it, you've wasted way too much time. So I went back on Amazon two years later and I got myself a car dryer. In fact, I didn't get a car dryer, I got a pet dryer. Now this one cost me around 50 pounds. It's not the most popular brand ever. I'm sure nobody on God's earth's even heard of it, but it's called like a grandpa shark pet dryer. I don't, don't ask me why, I'm staying out of it. I have no idea. I don't know who was drunk in the marketing department that day. But anyway, that's what I got, a grandpa shark pet dryer. And anyway, this thing's pretty good. To be fair, the more I use it, the more I'm starting to like it because I'm not just using it for car drying. It does have plenty of other benefits. For example, when you're cleaning out a manky car, you can stick that car dryer down the crevices and you can blow out all the crumbs. Instead of sticking a hoover nozzle in there, all you've got to do is put the nozzle with a blower and it will just push it all out in seconds. It's also great for agitating the leather seats. Now remember, you get lots of little bits which get in the nooks and crannies and where all the seams are. What you can do is spray a little bit of chemical, agitate it with a brush and start to blow it out because it actually is a safer way of doing it. And yes, if you are going to go for a car dryer, they are going to be perfect at clearing up all the front grills because they do hold lots of water. I just don't think you need to clean the whole car and then go through the entire car doing the whole drying process. It just seems like a bit of a waste of time, if I'm honest. These cars are still going to end up getting scratched. So unless you're doing these mega expensive £3,000 cleans, Honestly, I would just go for a microfiber towel and focus on the car dryer just for all the little fiddly areas. And they're also good for drying the wheels as well, especially where you've got all the bolts, where they also hold a lot of water. And if you don't blast them out, you will find you could get a build up a lime scale if you're not using deionized water. And here's another great tip for you. If you are cleaning car mats and there's lots of sand because you've been at the beach, take the mats out of the car and give them a good blast before you start getting the power drill. Now think about it, if you've got a mat full of sand and you go, oh, I know, I'm just gonna tackle it with a power drill, what you're gonna do is probably push a lot of it in. Not everything is gonna come out. However, if you go for the car dryer first, or the pet dryer, sorry, all you need to do is give it a good old blast and it will probably reduce about 50% of that sand, making your life that much easier. And not only that, if you're gonna be shampooing the seats and it's winter and the temperatures are cold, most of these are gonna have a warm air function so you will be able to dry the seats a lot quicker. And also while we're on the subject of winter, if you're cleaning the glass and you're gonna get condensation and mist up on the inside where you're trying to clean the glass and it seems to constantly look wet, this will also help if you wanna blow dry that glass as well at the same time. Honestly, there are so many great little features. And also speaking of the glass where the windows come down as well. I did this on my Ford S Max the other day. I stuck the nozzle right down there and I blasted it out and I couldn't believe all the stuff that we had picked up on there. It was incredible. 
So if you're thinking about going for a car drive and you don't want to fork out massive amounts of money straight away, I do urge you go check out the pet dryers first. And please do not be ashamed just because they say pet dryers, it doesn't mean they don't do the same job. And if you want to try and save a bit more money and go cheap and cheerful, also go and check out my Poundland special right here where we have loads of £1 products put to the test. I'll see you later. Bye bye.